This is Fiat Panda EV conversion kit. You will start from the left side to the right, so you can see all of the parts and how all is connected. And we have also the front side, which holds most of the parts used for this EV conversion. And first on the left side we have the charger, so this is 2 kilowatt charger that charges the main battery. Uh, the main battery is in the trunk. Charger is 2 kilowatt charger, so it converts 230 volts AC to uh, 96 volts DC. This is the small power distribution box, so this is 12 volt wiring that's connected to the main car battery and all of the components that use 12 volt and also DC DC converter that is used to charge the uh, small fellow battery. So this converter converts uh, battery uh, 96 volts to charge the small battery 12 volts. Next we have power distribution box. So this is high voltage power distribution box. It contains all fuses and uh, shunt for the high voltage. This is the vacuum pump. This vacuum pump is used for the vacuum brakes. So it's like several for the brakes to assist you with the brakes. Uh, related to, to the brakes, nothing else was touched. So this continues to have the existing car brakes. Next to the vacuum pump is the uh, water heater. So it connects to the existing pipes of the Fiat Panda. So all of these are existing pipes. This is our extension a little bit. Water pump and hoses that come, that flow through the uh, system. So this is circle, circular system, closed system and cold water comes in and hot water goes out and inside of the radiator of the cabin. So here inside and then it returns back as the cold water and goes into the heater. So cold water goes to the water pump and it pushes it down into the, the heater and then again out and to the uh, heat exchange inside of the cabin. So you can control the heating inside of the cabin like you, you, you would normally do in your car or this Fiat Panda. This is the heating fluid. So it's uh, now it's now in blue color because of the antifreeze, and uh, you can see if you have enough water for your cooling system here. Uh, now this is the only part that was uh, mounted, and for what we drilled the holes in front because there was no good fit anywhere else to to mount it, and oh, but all other parts are not. For all other parts, we didn't drill any other holes. So all are mounted on the existing bolts or on the existing mounts or holes inside of, of the vehicle. Talking for the front side. Motor is using the original motor mount. So this is the original motor mount. And this is our extension for the uh, back side of the motor and the front side of the motor using the adapter plate it connects to the gearbox. Controller is also on the same mount but it has some additional mounts so left and right side to uh, be fixed over the motor. It has also some space between uh, for cooling because it has ventilation and air cooling underneath of it. Motor has also air cooling system. In most cases it doesn't need it, but we have it f f just for additional safety and to prolong the lifespan of the electric motor. This is the back side, so uh, high voltage orange lines going from the back side for the charging and for 
coming to the power distribution box inside of this and then distributing to the electric motor for the powertrain heating so heater has also high voltage wires and DC DC converter for converting high voltage as you can see for converting high voltage into the low voltage so high voltage comes in and low voltage goes out and to the existing car battery one thing I forgot to mention is the vacuum pump is connected over these hoses to the vacuum tank as you can see it here and then vacuum tank is connected to the vacuum cylinder so this is the black cylinder for with oil that contains the all related to the brakes so this is not touched part we just connected the hose using the original mount as you can see here to the brake cylinder we also kept the original uh, parts here so the tire and the uh, lift for the tire replacing are remain at the same place as original it was before done so mostly we avoided wanted to avoid any changes to this vehicle and to keep it the original as possible the front plate is fully closed so now we have fully closed black aluminium plate and that holds all of the parts as you can see all is closed front only the bottom side is open for the cooling of the vehicle these are all uh, parts that we provide so all mountings as you can see for the uh, charger these are all mountings that we provide inside of the fiat panda ev conversion kit and also if you come to Croatia this uh, can be installed for you the front panel is a very big panel it holds all of these parts so it's very easy to mount it on the vehicle as we mentioned before the vacuum pump the water pump it makes the flow of the hot water for heating in winter for your car easy and possible uh, the, we are now making some specifications so this is 15 or 30 kilowatt peak power motor with 12 kilowatt LFP battery in the back so this is the safest possible combination with LFP battery and done in a very secure way using the additional pipe and fuses to control every line of the high voltage system also the, the bigger relays 500 amp control how you uh, power on the vehicle so the vehicle activates with the key as of the original and nothing else special is needed to uh, start your vehicle for the Fiat Panda we removed all of the computer and uh, computer lines so this was the whole uh, maybe you can see where the computer was in it was inside of the cabin inside of the under dash so we removed the computer and fully and all of the cables that were not needed we have we left only single cable which was the contact cable to power on uh, the main relays for this vehicle so this is all original mount this was not touched we only cut some parts that were not needed and mounted to it and this is also the original fuse so it was not touched it's like original from this fiat panda from the 90s this is the battery that we have in the fiat panda so this is the lfp battery it's 12 kilowatt hours uh, 96 volt system 
and it's connected using these lines to the front of the vehicle and uh, this is the only part that we need to drill in this car to make this possible because these lines need to be drilled and also to fix the battery to have it properly secured in place so it fits perfectly in the vehicle and you have also some space left for the stuff you want to do now I will show you the lines that are underneath of the vehicle and these are the cables and how we done the cables so they are all fixed and metal shielded to original uh, holes where the previously was uh, gas exhaust so it's mounted on the existing place where the previously was the exhaust uh, hoses and this is the charging cable okay to keep it original not to drill any holes we decided to use this type of socket so this is not standard type 2 but custom american socket and we provide the charging cable for it but you can also get it anywhere because this is a standard socket that you can use in your house just reversed and little different approach and this is how it looks from the inside fully original nothing was touched only we drill the holes here to mount our secure switch so this is the safety switch in case of any issues it dis disconnects the main relay so high voltage disconnects and this is the heater so when you activate this 2.4 kilowatt uh, heater activates and it will al uh, allow you to use the existing heating and uh, and heat up your cabin so you control it fully from the inside by using the fans and how you want this only activates the heater and heater has a thermostat so it activates and deactivates depending on the temperature inside of the heater and here we have the display so you can see the power of um, how much amps are you draining from the battery what's the battery state of charge and things like that so you can see the current voltage of the system let's see the voltage so we are at 100 volts and we are draining Z you see the dot here so 0 0.001 amp at the moment and remaining amp power so the battery is 96.35 or we are at 91% of the state of charge so very simple to use hidden not visible at all from the outside and very nicely done so we don't need to make any special changes to the front panels and things like that we wanted to keep the original spare tire so this is uh, the sole of the Fiat Panda and how it looks with the spare tire in front Keep subscribed and watch our series. The next videos will be Volkswagen Beetle, Fiat 500 and some other cars that we will present soon.